across our area after another smashing grab in Baltimore this weekend. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kelsey Krishner. This time it happened at a BP gas station on Ricerstown Road, and WJZ is live there tonight. Christina Mendez has more on the manager's call for help. Christina. Plywood is covering that gaping hole where the smash and grab happened, all while an employee was working inside. The store manager does tell me that she believes that those suspects were casing out this location before committing that crime. They come, they back up the car, and then they take the ATM. Surveillance video captures the crime and the time it took this group to pull up, back in, and load up an ATM from inside the store. All is said and done in under two minutes. Extremely scary because, like I've said, we've seen it in the news happening, and you, there's nothing to prepare you for when it happens to you. In the latest string of ATM thefts across Baltimore City and County, this BP gas station is the latest. The store manager is looking for answers on what more can be done to protect people and their businesses from becoming targets. But is there more help that needs to be done? How do we get control of this highly organized crime that's affecting multiple stations in the area? Customer Linda Green says she's been keeping up with this troubling trend. I've been coming here for a couple of years. I play my little lotteries and they bring me good luck. I call it my good luck store. And is thankful the familiar faces behind the plastic barrier didn't get hurt. But the nicest group of people, each and every one. If you're short a few pennies or whatever, they'll tell you don't worry about it. The store that's there for customers now asking you to be there for them in a time of need. If anyone sees or recognizes anything, that, that'll be a great help. It's going to take community action. Police have previously suggested to business owners to go ahead and put up some barricades in front of their stores using bigger bolts to secure those ATMs and even pushing those machines further into the store, making it a whole lot more difficult for thieves to pick them up and load them into the van like the video that you just watched with us. I'm reporting live from Baltimore, Christina Mendez for WJZ.